Jim Saving and Jim Saving Corps.com. I want to say a special thank to the UK government and the president of Turkey and the ex international international development um, secretary MP Preeti Patel, MP Anne Margaret, and MP Paul Scully. The UK government had paid £47 million due to aid for the Rohingya. I'm going to meet them and, and I want to say a special thanks to Nuts in Slum. So let's go and meet. And one more fact, I, I heard that Penny Morda had paid, recently she has paid £14 million for the aid of Rohingya. That's impressive. And um, let's go and meet. Coming out at some stage, okay? So we'll talk about organising all that. Hi, my name is Jamie Zane from tribune24.com. So how are you today? Great day today, thank you. But I want to know about your day because you've come to Westminster. So I want to find out what it's been like for you. I came here a lot. <laughs> Congratulations by um, Help with the Rohingyas. Yeah, wow, you have given millions and millions, millions um, pounds for the aid of Rohingya. Yeah. Yes, so what is the next project for the Rohingya? So, you know, as a young man, you will know what it's like now. You've heard the stories about the Rohingya people, how they've had to flee their homes. It's pretty horrible. And we can't imagine that happening to us, can we? I mean, that's just really horrible and really difficult. So people have had to flee their homes. They've come across all sorts of difficult things. So the British government, so the work that I used to do, we've been the single largest donor to the whole world's support to Bangladesh in giving aid and money and support, which makes us feel proud. I mean, that must make you feel proud as well. You know, you're a Brit here, our government is doing that. I feel really proud about that, and that's a good thing. But in terms of what next? Well, this is really difficult now because we need to see our foreign policy change, basically. So the British government changed its foreign policy to Burma to make sure that the Burmese government actually do something and stop hurting people, stop the persecution that we've been seeing, basically, of the Rohingya people. You've seen pictures of children, and it's horrible. My, my son's nine. My son's the same age as yours. And um, to see children and mums and dads flee, be burnt out of their homes, is just unacceptable. We wouldn't accept that in our country, so why would we accept that in any other country? So let's work together to get a better outcome for people that are suffering at this very difficult time. They've got a home right now in Bangladesh, but it's not a very nice home. They're living in camps. The conditions are horrible. You know, if you were a young, you know, think of you living there. I couldn't imagine living there. There's no running water. There's not proper medicines. There's not proper food there. So we need to think about that, and we need to make sure that people are looked after it in the right way. Thank you very much. It's lovely to meet you, and thank you for your interview today. And well done. That was really good. Really good. How are you today? I'm really good. It's lovely to see you again. Lovely to see you again. Um, so you, you look um, awesome in the tie. You are very <laughs> kind. Look, 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 look at that. Have to have a little bit of brightness in the world. <laughs> so, what do you think of um, me giving £74 million pounds to the Rohingyas? Well, the UK aid um, it supports what's the Bangladeshi government and what's going on over there because it's such a tragedy that, you know, I'm half Burmese, my father was born in Burma, so it breaks my heart to see all these uh, the Rohingya Muslims being uh, uh, persecuted and, and having to come to Bangladesh. Bangladesh government are doing a really, really good job under such difficult circumstances, and it's really good that the UK is at the forefront helping them, giving them all that money to make sure that people can actually survive, they can... Be, get the treatment that they need, get the food they need and the shelter and those kind of things. That's really good and I hope we, we can give more money as well. Thank you very much. Great, lovely to see you. And well done for all you're doing. Thank you very much.
My name is Jane Thayer from JaneTayer4.com. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you, Jane. It's nice to meet you. Oh, shake. So, um, so congratulations by giving um, millions, millions of pounds to the um, Rohingyas. That is a great job. And I made a and I made a clip of helping the of um, helping the Rohingyas and how to give charity to them. So you may like see the video of mine. I certainly. And so, what is the next plan to help the Rohingyas? Well, the big plan, as you know, make sure people don't forget, because what happens is new news comes forward. And people forget and it goes off the screens so it's up to us to make sure we keep at it because we've come away having seen terrible terrible things but i know and every time it rains i just think oh those poor people out there every day in the mud dreadful circumstances so we mustn't forget and we parliamentarians have got to make sure that we keep up, nagging away at our government and the governments um, in Burma and Bangladesh to ensure that the Rohingya have a fair, fair chance at a, at a good life. Thank you very much. Thank you, and thank you for all you do. This is Dream Team from Westminster. <laughs> কি ঘটছে তৎক্ষণাৎ জানতে চোখ রাখুন জিবি নিউজের পাতায় জিবি নিউজ টোয়েন্টি